All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zuff. And we are Real Time. Today, we got movie night number 55. This week, we did a little fun thing over on our Patreon. We did, uh, it was titled Battle of the Snubs. It's two of the movies that just always lose on our Patreon that just people always recommend, never win. It was this movie and Little Miss Sunshine. That is like a kind of like become a meme at this point on our Patreon, like how many times it's been in a poll and we just haven't got to do it so i'm sure eventually we'll do it whether that's voted or on our own time but this one won how to lose a guy in 10 days uh pretty sure this is a rom-com i know two leads kate, oh. kate hudson and matthew mcconaughey i think this might be matthew mcconaughey's debut on the channel this is no. not kate hudson's debut on the channel he was in um oh, nope. no he wasn't no he was not but kate hudson was in a movie on the channel you guys don't know Ah, the pink one. Oh god. It's a recent movie that we did kind of. Last Everybody two wears months. pink. We all wear pink on Wednesday. Mean Girls no. no. Oh my god. Just tell me, bro. No, no, I'm trying to guess. Like recent as in this he said year. In the last 2 months, he literally just said in the last 2 months. Uh. Is it a movie night? No. Movie week. Little quiz here at the beginning of this video she i mean she wasn't a huge character in the movie to be fair i don't know give up yeah. she was in glass onion she was one oh of my god yeah yeah, yeah 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 she was, she was the, the rich uh, girl the, the, the controversial yeah character. the one who had the assistant yep. yeah so dang it that's the, the only assistant. thing I've seen, I've seen her in so i haven't seen this movie i do love matthew mcconaughey i know him from a lot of things uh He's one of those. He's one of the dimes of the the Hollywood. He's a Hollywood dime for sure. Very good looking, and I like how <laughs> he puts on weight for roles, loses weight for roles. He's a very complicated and committed man. Yeah, I actually have not seen this movie before. Surprise, surprise. I I, I feel like I might have like seen a clip or something on YouTube, um, just because I've seen. A, a bunch of clips of Matthew McConaughey and rom-coms. I know that he used to be in a bunch like early on in his career and stuff and then he uh, he sort of delved into like those movies, the se more serious movies like Zuff was talking about. I'm I'm not super familiar with Kate Hudson. I hate to say it. I, I do recognize her like I know who she is. I just cannot think of like a whole bunch of movies that she's in. Um, but I know that she's a very, very good actress. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to this. You guys have been suggesting it for a very, very long time. I'm glad we're finally getting around to it. Um, and I'm sure it's going to be good. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Before we get into this one, if you guys have been enjoying all of our movie reactions, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting very, very close to 100K subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button if you have not already. We really appreciate that. Make sure to check out all of our links in the description as well. We got the Patreon, the Discord, our social medias, then the address to our PO box at the very bottom for our series mail time. So make sure to check that out. But yeah, let's get into it. Movie night number 55, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. Let's go. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, that, that, uh, like politics Burnett. and the environment and foreign affairs, things I'm interested in, keep busting your butt. Yeah, she's, I think she's at the wrong company to be doing that. This is like a, go it seems like a gossip yeah. magazine type thing. The NBA finals are in town and I get... What? what? <laughs> Who's playing in the finals? <laughs> Please tell me it's the Bucks. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, what, like 2002? It'll be the Lakers. Uh, yeah, who's that? Different girl. So many pretty girls in this. You don't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> what am I gonna do? There he is. There he is. Yeah. This is literally 18 year old McConaughey. Mm. Made that number up. Ooh. If you can attract women in a helmet like that. Oh no, never mind, she knows. <laughs> You thought he had ultimate riz? Yeah. He does still. He kind of does like a little old. Ready? Ready. Later, Ben. Have a nice day, ladies. <laughs> Who is he? Who's Ben? Benny. Oh, oh, that's the girl from The Visit. The mom? Was she not also in Glass Onion? Yeah. Yeah, she was. The politician? Yeah. Only dated the guy a week. It was the best week of my life. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Hey. And he says, "Ladies, he is a killer." He just looks like if you looked up "cool guy" in the dic in the dictionary. The picture right next is up. It would just be Matthew McConaughey and me. 
next to you. Actually, he would be cool guy, and then on the next page would be W Riz guy, and that'd be me. Let's see a motorcycle dealer. Uh oh. We taking the shirt off? Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Look at them. Coffee and a view. This was my tip. It's gonna be my pitch, my count, my campaign. This is my baby. So I'm talking not ace me out. That's right. I heard that. I heard that. I heard it. Things are going great for like a week and a half, and then all of a sudden it's over. She's a good actor. She's also in Step Brothers, I think. She's a. She's in a lot. She has yeah, her own. Uh, she's the one who cheats. She has her own Marvel show. Who is um Will Ferrell's brother in Step Brothers? John C. Riley. No. Yeah. No, I meant his actual brother. Like the one that comes to visit. Oh. He's in Krampus. His wife. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's move on from this. No, her, her husband. Okay, okay. <laughs> Is <laughs> one movie we watching? <laughs> I got lost. What's next for How To With Andy? Well, I've been working on something that's kind of different. She's, She's not, not going to like her article. It's a political piece. How to make peace in, what is it? You work at Composure magazine. Yeah. We are fashion trends, diets, cosmetic surgery, salacious gossip. That's Composure. Michelle, what have you got? She got nothing. Who will use Michelle's personal life for a story? Oh, who's I writing will. about her? Go. No, no, no. I'll do it. Oh. What? Oh, her thing is how tos. Yeah. How to lose a guy in how ten to, days. How to lose a guy in ten days. I could start by dating the guy, and then mm. drive him away, but only using the classic mistakes most women, like Michelle, make oh. all the time. I'll keep a diary. This is such a crazy plot. Imagine pitching this at work and them being like, you're onto something with this. I feel like it's innovative. You need to fake date a man. She's actually going to start dating a guy and then okay. drive him away in a week and a half. <laughs> Sounds needlessly vicious. Now all she has to do is run along and find the lucky guy. Go, go, go. This is terrible. I think McConaughey's on his way over here right now, right? Because he's competing with those Judy girls. Mm -hmm. oh, where are we going to meet him at? Club. We walk in the club and see Gosling and Steve Carell. <laughs> Just filming another movie. <laughs> That'd be true. Twenty years later. <laughs> what movie? I forget what it was called. Yeah. How to help your brother? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How to help your brother? <laughs> it's so true. It's not even close. <laughs> what was it called? Is it crazy stupid love? Crazy stupid love. Oh my god. <laughs> How to help your brother. <laughs> I was just thinking Gosling helping him. But you weren't invited. Yeah, but I should have been. I mean, it was my Oh, he's crashing the party. Yes, it was. Aren't they say a diamond is forever? We say a diamond is for everyone. Mmm. I like that. A diamond is for everyone since the message that diamonds are everywhere, which means they're not rare. Status. Is the reason to buy them in the first place. We I like that reasoning too. I don't think it's the only reason to buy them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Jeez, what that was that hard. look? What the hell? Why would you bump into me? The skills required to market diamonds are the same as those needed to make a woman fall in love. Yes. I'm not talking about lust. I'm talking about deep, meaningful, head over heels, his and her towels. Let's grow old together. L, L O V E. Love. I love women. And they love you too, I do, my guy. Whether they're 40 or my 88-year-old grandmother. Weird sentence. Okay. To win. She's like, I want to overtake this I guy. Myself to any woman, anywhere, anytime. Make a woman fall in love with diamonds, Benjamin, or with you. Uh, either. She knows what Andy's up to. Mm -hmm. She's gonna set him up. The party's a week from Sunday. Do you think you can make a woman fall in love with you by then? Ten days. Any woman, <laughs> anywhere, anytime? I I'm not trying to trick you, Ben. In fact, we'll choose a woman right here. Mmm, this is such a good plan, bro. Her in the gray dress, blonde hair, pretty smile. <laughs> okay, yeah. Challenge accepted. After I win this bet, this pitch is mine. Agreed. Phil? Agreed. 
You come to that party it's a crazy. Really in so it's all over who gets to pitch the new like diamond thing that they work for. Well, they're like an advertising agency, okay, so yeah. probably whoever gets the the client type thing probably get a lot of money from it. Yes, my wife and I love you, especially this time of year. She'd been here get before, out. and I. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's so awkward. Hi, I was just hitting on your husband. Hi. Hi. Hmm. Hi. <laughs> Andy Anderson. Benjamin Barry. Benjamin Barry. Andy, so it's just A-A-B-B. -B. Double alliteration. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? They think, oh, yeah, we got to pick A-A for the girl and B-B for the guy. Alphabetical. Who's next? You see? <laughs> Leaving. Now? Dude, this is the craziest pickup lines I've ever heard. <laughs> Hungry? You're just asking one word question. Hungry? Leaving? I think I got one. He was married. No. They're both yet. trying to like use each other for work. <laughs> oh, he's really cute. I'm gonna check this one out and see if he's the keeper tomorrow night. Well, let's... Sheesh! <laughs> what are the odds that she doesn't lose this guy? Oh, very, very. <laughs> Very Barry Benjamin, hi. Benjamin Barry. She's gonna fall in love with him. And he's gonna fall in love with her. Benjamin Barry. I work mostly with alcoholic beverage and athletic equipment companies, and I'm trying to break into the jewelry market right now. And if I uh, get you to fall in love with me in ten days, then I get I get paid. Shoes. Like alcoholic beverages <laughs> and athletic gear. <laughs> they're already cute. You think they're gonna go to the NBA game? I okay. hope we gotta find out who's in the finals. I really wanna know. I think it's the Knicks. All's fair in love and war. True. Great answer. Good question. Oh my. No way the pipe. What's he wow. about to pull out? The pipe? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's getting is that hot. What in I here. know it is. It's getting hot in here. Yeah. A diamond is a long-term commitment. Take notes. You better record everything. Ah, it's so like. Ugh, they're both trying to be sleazy towards mm -hmm. each other. Big sleaze fest. Feel like it just kind of cancels each other out. Like at the end, when they both find out, you can't really be mad at each other. Like she said, all is fair in love and war. I think that's why she said it. Oh, Ben, Benjamin, big, Barry, Big Ben, you know what I mean. Come on, come on. Oh, you come to me. I like this guy. Uh -huh. Come on. Isn't this easy to get a girl when you look like that? I mean, gorgeous man. <laughs> I was gonna go to the bar and oh, look at Oh! Oh! Yeah, they want the opposite things. What's up gonna do at the bar? He's gonna look at a girl and go. <laughs> to the seat next to him. <laughs> They're going too fast. You can't resist. We're moving too fast. You're right. Now, is she going to initiate again? Yeah, what the <laughs> heck's going on? Oh my gosh. I didn't know there was a sex scene. Good night, Andy Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are already falling. Out. They're both like, oh, sucker. I wish you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't feel any type of spark there. I feel like that was a pretty intimate moment. Mm -hmm. I think it was just maybe just set, like yeah. attraction. Her purse is here. Yeah. Oh, she left her purse. Yeah. <laughs> you lagging over there or what? Have you looked inside? No. Do you have an ethical problem with rifling through a woman's purse? Uh, yeah, I guess I do. Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, he just punched it. We need to see what's inside. Oh, they knocked it over on purpose. Makeup, credit cards, NBA tickets to the finals. Oh, and they love oh. basketball. Knicks. That's what I said. Oh my god. <laughs> this is that cute guy from last night. So does this mean he's hooked? This means he found the Knicks tickets. Mm. He left the tickets in the purse. Oh, it's her plan's working pretty well. I think she's like kind of the advantage right now. Yeah, I think so too. All right, I'm sorry though. I'm going to the game with somebody else. Ooh. Not anymore. Besides, what, you, you think you left your purse at my place by accident? No, subconsciously, you are dying. <laughs> All right, meet me at the 7th Avenue entrance. Are they in New York, New York? Yeah, I'd imagine. Bye-bye. I love the little flirting they got going on. It's cute. Yeah, I, I feel like they're gonna perfect get to for see each the other. Next, we're going to get to see the next game. Let's go. Oh, Kings. Oh, Sacramento. Here in Fox. What kind of finals is this? <laughs> They're both so into it. <laughs> she's into it. He likes it. I wonder if she's always into it or just did some research. Uh oh. Who's gonna kiss? Kiss Cam. They've already kissed. Heavily. Heavily have kissed. Kiss me. Oh! <laughs> So I was trying to get a thumbnail face in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all get one. Oh, she's feeling something. Yeah. She's feeling some she type hold of up. way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't. No. He's a better man than me, bro. I don't know if I'm leaving this close of a game. Yeah, that's fucked up. That is the worst time. She's doing it on purpose. No ice, small coat. No ice. Okay, you got it. Beyond the three point line. Ah, no! Oh, does that mean no? You don't want ice? Ah. Hey! Ho! 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 Bro, <laughs> why is she doing that? She's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> why is she doing that? I guess they are her tickets. I don't know. He missed it. He missed the game. Already. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> that would make me really mad. <laughs> what a great game. What an incredible ending as well. This is a good way to lose a guy, though, I guess, to be fair. He's a beautiful woman. Yeah. She is. I mean, he's a handsome man. Who do you think has the best look? In this movie? Like her or him. In this movie? Yeah. Close for me. It's, it's really close. You have to always give McConaughey. I mean, she's so close, though. I don't know. I honestly feel like Matthew McConaughey looks old. Better when he's older. He looks great here. He just ages very well. Why is she calling him to work? Like fine wine. Because she's trying to get him Hello. to hate her. Yeah. To get rid of her. No, I'm not. Why don't we catch a movie or something? A movie? My choice? Your choice. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I hate it. For him, too, though, it's like, this is, this is work. <laughs> what are you thinking about? I'm sorry. Oh, this is so annoying. Which is what she's trying to do. So, I get it. Intentional. Who's who? The girl you're thinking about. Oh. Can't hear. <laughs> I'm not thinking about a girl. Oh. I'm sitting here. Uh, I don't know if I liked that one. What? Liked what? That that line. Can't hear and can't see. You don't shut up. My boyfriend over here is gonna come back and pummel your ass. Put a muzzle on your old lady the next time you bring around. Oh gosh. Outside. Oh, getting him into a fight. What is he wearing? <laughs> He's gonna kick his ass. And she's gonna love it. There we go. No. 
Now I'm gonna go back inside and finish watching Sleepless in Seattle. Yep. Nobody screw with me. <laughs> it's going through an emotional journey right now. Uh, uh, oh. 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 Oh, yeah. oh gosh, Ben. Watch! Ah! When are you seeing him again? Tonight. He's invited me over for dinner. Marvelous. I've got a feeling about this one. The article's gonna be called something else. How to fall in love in 10 days or some shit like that. Wine. Ooh, he cooks. No, no, he cooks. Look at that wine. You cook like this, Bryce? Uh, yeah. I look like that too when I cook. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I come downstairs and I'm like, Matthew? <laughs> Hello? You have called me that a few times. Oh. She's just putting a bunch of stuff in his room, bro. Is that ribbed? I think so. It was lamb. Oh, maybe, yeah. Really? You're renovating his house? You're decorating? This would surely lose most dudes, no. right? I think that was honestly like... I'm just saying like, all of this up to this point, like... Yeah. He doesn't want to watch the game. Wow. Oh, oh my. Wow. An autographed photo. It's a baby fern. Really? Oh, yeah? It's like our relationship. It's gonna grow. I help this little baby in need of tender loving care. Dinner is served. That looks so good. <laughs> yeah, it does. She's gonna be a very sloppy eater. Vegetarian. Or, or yeah, veg or vegan or something. I wish I ate. He's so upset. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. You have to know the score of the Knicks game. Do I look like the kind of person who has the score of a Knicks game? No, you don't. <laughs> My boyfriend is that bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just comically horrible. <laughs> I love it, though. Embarrassing him in public? I don't think she's fat. Oh, leave, Ben. Leave in three days. Why is she being like this? Well, we know why. Why? Do not ask that again. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Eating meat? Probably. The la their last date's gonna be the final next game. Take it! Take it! Ah! How the hell did you know he was going to miss that shot? Mm. That's a shot from the top of the key. Uh-oh. Houston never misses from the top of the key. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa. What was I even just talking about? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Mm. That, was that was a scary, scary face. What? Sophia. You kidding me, right? Princess Sophia. <laughs> it's so big, I don't know. We will find out. Oh. Uh, yo. Oh <laughs> my god. She's calling his penis <laughs> Princess Sophia. Yeah. All right, you, you gotta name it something hyper masculine, okay? Something like a spike, a butch, a crawl, the warrior king, but not <laughs> Princess Sophia. What is Crow, crow, warrior king. <laughs> <laughs> Due to intense humiliation, the king has <laughs> momentarily absent his throne. This is tough oh. to watch. I have a constant smile. Can I see you tomorrow? Really? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, what the fuck? Answer your phone! What? Yeah. <laughs> How? Hey, there's a dog? Hello there. Mm -hmm. He's just chilling back course? there. Hey, this is Tony and this is Thayer. Oh, Thayer. Yes, <laughs> What's his name? Thayer. Spell it? T H A Y E R. -E 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 Thayer. Thayer. Like Lair, but with a T H at the framing. Yep. You can't combine front and beginning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, what is it? Jumper. 
It's a Chinese custard, of course. It's a crazy looking dog. I think she's just purposely got like one of those ones that just look like rats. No offense if you guys have one of those. <laughs> he's cute. Do you not think he's cute? Crawl the Warrior King. Well, sure, that's clearly like Named it Crawl the Warrior King? What do you got there? Oh, nice. For me? Get out of town. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, and hey, it is good to see you too, sweetie. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yep, there it there goes. There he goes. Oh, okay. Well, he's oh. a pisser. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they'll be all. He's a pisser. <laughs> you know, we got a whole bunch of work we got to do, but we're uh, we're still on for poker at your house this weekend. Oh, you cannot. Oh, she's going to ruin that. I'm talking about diamonds. They're frosty, as in, whoa. Would you check out her frosting? I don't know. I do not like it at <laughs> all, actually. We can introduce you to the party. It should be the theme. Yes. Everything frost. All of it. Uh, martini glass. Chandeliers. Women of New York, frost yourselves. It sounds inappropriate. <laughs> frost yourself. And go frost yourself, man. I did something kind of wacky. Huh? Yes. I used Photoshop oh, goodness. today to composite our faces. See what our baby would look like? Yep. That is psychotic. We don't have children. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> you don't want to see them. I do. Please, please show them to me. You're going to look so ugly, bro. You think? Well, just the photo, because it's Photoshop she did. And. This is our first child. That's just a baby. That looks junior. like the guy from Euphoria. <laughs> Benjamin Jr. on yours. <laughs> There's little Andy. Oh. Both the kids are named after them. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh. Hey, mom. Uh oh. Don't oh, mess yeah. with the mom. You're gonna really upset them. Yeah, yeah. She was just saying that's for you. Oh, great. Why is my mom calling? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I just showed. That's weird. Well, he thinks our children will be very attractive. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, he's not liking this. There's a toothbrush there. Yep. Yeah. It's taking over, bro. Bad just sell. <laughs> a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I feel really bad for him. He's just been going way harder on. Because he just has to make her fall in love with him. Mm -hmm. He has to just be compliant. I gotta go into work. That's two backside tickets for tonight. He did? Tickets. Tickets. Great tickets. Front row seats right in the action. Celine Dion? Oh my god, bro. Ah, that's so bad. Oh. This whole movie is just stress. That's stress. all I feel. <laughs> On the beach. Okay. Hello, guys. Everybody. Tony, oh, there, yes. Francis. Oh. God, bro. Hi, Tony. <laughs> you might lose me for this reaction at um, this rate. Like, I might get up. I'm right behind you. I can't. No, you're right next to me. I can't. What if I got up and stood behind you? Give me some rum. Give me some rum. Huh? <laughs> Don't smoke. Can you guys, in here, guys not smoke? Oh, I hate it. Oh, oh, yep. <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> this is so bad. Nine and a seven. Oh, no, you can't spoil his hand. Go for the straight, she said. <laughs> Does she not feel bad at all about this? Like, <laughs> She's pretty determined. She's trying to get rid of him. He won't get rid of her. It's dead. No, honey, it's just sleeping. <laughs> you let it die. You can let us die. Is like in. Are you? Are you gonna let you guys die? She is a professional, just making me uncomfortable. She's doing a good job. God, I hope 
dosa. Mental person! Oh, you're acting completely insane. You know that? So I am insane. No, you're acting insane. Shut up, Crawl. Crawl. Oh, that's messed up. You don't talk to Crawl like that. The Warrior King. I guess this means we're over. Yeah, I guess so. Fine. Fine. Lost him. No, that's her plan. You were here. Did you just witness the one woman homage to the Exorcist? You saw it, huh? Yeah, I did. I thought it was sexy. <laughs> it's not sexy. Was not. Couples therapy. Yeah, of course. What? Every time my no, dude. Me, I suggest couples therapy. It'll buy you at least four it's days. True. She, she hates them. Therapy. Couples therapy. Yeah. Couples therapy. Yes. Come on. Couples, couples therapy. therapy. Couples, couples therapy. therapy. Couples therapy. Couples therapy. Just... We'll do the therapy, but with the couples, as a couple. Whoa! Oh my. Wow. Hey, look, I'm willing to do anything. Is she gonna be real with him? What do you think about? What do you think about couples therapy? <laughs> couples therapy. Couples therapy. Look, Thayer up there, he's got this doctor. He says he's a hell of a guy. No, I know a therapist who will work wonders with somebody like. It's gonna be like one of her friends yeah. or something. You're gonna set her up, set him up. <laughs> He's going insane. I think I'm going insane. Yeah, I feel like a crazy person it, uh, myself. And her friend. Yep. Andy Anderson. Benjamin Barry. Michelle or whatever. Please come in. Benjamin Barry. Welcome. Benjamin Barry. Benjamin She's gonna make Bobby. it feel crazy. How much is it? Three hundred dollars. Three hundred? Is that too soon to be seeing a therapist? Yeah, very soon. Uh, how are things between you sexually? Doesn't exist. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> we have a Oh no, Ben has a little. Oh my gosh. Princess Sophia. She's going to nickname my penis. Yeah. Princess Sophia. Huh? <laughs> you want to talk about shooting a man's horse? What? I Come on. It was a it's a beautiful name. And when was it that you first realized that you were attracted to other men? <laughs> 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 You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gaslighting the shit out of him, bro. Come here. I've seen this before. And I've seen it many times. I love her as a therapist. This is great. <laughs> Maybe you should get a room. You are hitting on our shrink. Yes, you are, no, and you are a pathological flirt. Jesus, five seconds ago, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you you want to talk to my mother? Talk to my mother. I'd be so weird out by that. You can talk to the whole family. Hell, we You're to talking to a girl for week? seven days, and your mom calls. Hey, can I talk to that girl? Would you like to go to Staten Island? <laughs> <laughs> she gonna really act crazy in front of his family? Oh my gosh, bro, this is so fucked up. Uh, that's my dad when he was an ensign in the Navy. He got stationed here about 10 years ago. Bullshit! Uh-oh. What do you say? Who His dad got stationed? Yeah, I think. She's gonna make a comment about that or something. This might just make her feel bad for treating him badly. Oh, that's true. Oh, thank you. This is our Uncle Arnold. Hi, Uncle Arnold. You gotta watch him. <laughs> he farts like a howitzer. Oh. <laughs> Intestinal complications. Yeah, right on. Proof. What? <laughs> is there something I'm not correctly watching? I'm gonna teach you how it's very simple. Rick is getting rid of all the cards in your hand, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Uncle Arnold farted. Three fives. Bullshit. Oh, he got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see whose name's on top of the board over there? He got it. I'm doing my best. What do we got? Yes. Did I bubble bubble? Uh, no, I told the truth. Three fives. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right. He's good. He's the champ. <laughs> Is he ripping ass? <laughs> I think he just keeps ripping. Like, I hate like, Uncle Arnold. Ripping like you, Rob. Mm. Yeah, she just. I think she just likes the family. Hi, nice to meet you. Andy is. It would be pretty fucked up of her to treat them yeah. badly, honestly, even if this is part of her job. Yeah, she's gonna though. <laughs> Bullshit? Communicating. Bullshit! 
<laughs> You've been cocked. Betrayed by my own pants. The only honest man in this place is Uncle Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, where am I at? For all his other girlfriends, bullshit losers. He's never had a girlfriend. You are the first girl he's ever brought home. Don't you break his heart? This is brutal. I fully plan to break his heart. I still think he's he's capping there too. He is. Show feels good. Love somebody like you. Oh, it's heavy, turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dialogue. <laughs> Those aren't the words. <laughs> turn it on, good. <laughs> Whoa! That was sick. Probably Are you allowed to just drive your motorcycle on here? I imagine. Oh. <laughs> this is the Andy that we want. Yeah, this is just like them being real, I think. I don't think he's being fake either right now. Everything alright? Okay. Oh no, it's more than okay. I love everything about this house. The noise, the smells. What's her family oh. situation? Yeah, like? I'd like to get a backstory. <laughs> Uncle Arnold. I was like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she's about to tell us she doesn't have a family. It was just that when your mom hugged me today, she really hugged me. Real love. Smile. Come on, give me a smile. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's it. You just scared me. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they are cute right now. Uh -huh. Can we stay like this? Please. It's gonna get weird again. I just feel like her like boss is gonna be like, nope, we're running the story. And she's gonna be like, no. Whoa. Take it off. He's looking at boobs right now. Not yet. Where's Princess Sophia? Be on the throne? Are they gonna intercourse in his parents' home? It's gonna be hot in there, bro. Let's hope nobody flushes. They definitely are doing it. They're having sex. Tomorrow night, my boss is throwing a party. Is this, is this the, the screen look blurry? I want you to come with me. As my girlfriend. Ooh. Are you calling me your girlfriend? Yeah. I think I am. I think we need a larger sample size of days. Um, will be the 10th day we've been seeing each other. Oh, no. Don't make any plans for day 13. Okay. Cause... No. Uh oh. This is making me sad. Yes. Game seven. They're gonna get to it. The Knicks are gonna win. That's after the ten days, though. They're gonna be yeah. broken up by then. No, they'll be together. No, that's gonna be where they meet back up. They both have their own tickets. They're gonna get estranged and then meet up for the final game. They're not gonna be on speaking terms. Can we turn the movie off now, Rob? Yeah, we'll see it. I can't write this article. Yep. Know it. Is your computer broken? <laughs> it's because I'm not your Girl Scout leader. I'm your boss. You'll write the article. Hey, lady. Shut up. She's funny. I want copy on my desk in 48 hours. Okay. But Lana... No, but Lana. You'll do it. But Lana... Because you're a professional. Too hot to handle. Too hot to handle. Wow. She's looking very lovely right now. Headlights are on. <laughs> oh my word. Oh, oh. Dagger to the heart, bro. Oh. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Look at him. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> yes, I can do this. Yes, man. From like the other people's perspective that he's like trying to impress right there i think uh why, why wouldn't he just like tell the girl like his plan you know what i mean be like just pretend like you're in love with me i'm gonna yeah. get all this money and then i'll pay you i don't know uh, suits you. these are the two bosses huh yeah mr delauer controls 70 percent of the world's diamonds and mrs delauer controls mr <laughs> i don't like her hair 
Oh, yeah. That's the first thing I saw. Such beauty should be celebrated. Whoa. This is Isadora. Mm, it's a beautiful oh. necklace. Are they just letting them, like, keep those or what? Pardon me, young man. <laughs> Would you be kind enough to order me a whiskey sour? Ugh. Yes, ma'am, I can, Mr. I don't like her, bro. What is going on up there? I feel like it's like glue. It doesn't look like actual hair. Ladies, do you see what I see? Oh, Philip, that's ridiculous. She couldn't possibly. Don't be so sure. She might possibly. That was strange dialogue. <laughs> yeah. She might possibly. <laughs> <laughs> she can't possibly. She might possibly. <laughs> How's that? How's that counter? <laughs> Diamond in the room that sparkles like a woman in love. I'm not in love. No. Oh. Oh no, no. I mean, I've, I mean, I've only known her ten days. I've failed mission. You can't. I can't. But she is in love. She doesn't want to admit it. Yeah, though. it sounds a little. Yeah, she is in love. That is a very lucky man. Excuse me. Yeah. I think he still thinks it. Yeah. Met her, she loves you, you win, get ready to pitch. Uh, Is it gonna end up being him screwing her over? Congratulations, point man. He's gonna find out about this this plan. Be broken hearted. So you're the new point man on the Devourers. She loves me. Good for you. And that's uh Andy's boss. I think he's happy that she loves him though. Yeah, oh yeah. The girl has known about the bet from the beginning. Uh -uh. She's playing along so Ben would win. Yeah. Tell him to enjoy his short lived. What is that girl's off? Yeah. Warren is gonna come over here in a minute, and it would it would be so great if you could just you know like act like you don't know anything about the Ben. Oh. Oh. You, you really truly love Ben, you know, and you, you weren't just you know pretending so he would he would he would win. Oh, I hate this. Ivana, there is a beautiful young woman mm. in a yellow dress that I must go. Get. What's this trope Andy. called, Rob? Yeah, she's my how-to girl. Ah, um, yes. right it's now. literally the ten things I hate about you trope too. They're both figuring out about it right now. She's actually named. It's, she's named his. Yes. Princess. They're both like, I've been deceived. You're cruel. Yep. This is awkward. Wow, yes! Give another hand for Yikes. Uh, Marvin Hamlish is in the house! Uh, ha, ha. Guys, oh, I, might, oh. I might go underneath the table. And he has prepared a little musical snack for his new special friend, Mrs. Delauer. Oh, oh, he's like wonder. <laughs> and sing your song! This is bad. He's not gonna sing. I think he might. He might just be. He's gonna expose her. And all the girls think that baby is blood. Baby is harder cut. He's so vain. Oh. He's so vain. Disaster. Oh! Well, the rundown, the rundown. All right, you drove me half insane for a goddamn magazine oh, article. Yeah, and you told people you could make any girl fall in love with you, and I, I was exhibited. You know what? You did your job, though, Andy. You wanted to lose a guy in 10 days. Congratulations. You lost him. Oh. No, I didn't, Ben. Because you can't lose something you never had. Like, who do you even, like, feel for here? I think you just... That's what I mean. I feel, like, I feel like they just did such equally bad things. It just kind of... It, it's got to cancel each other out. <laughs> they're going to go to the next game. And they're going to get on the you kiss You can't cam. love what you never had. From now on, feel free to write about anything her dream wherever the wind blows you <laughs> even politics yeah the wind's not going to blow you there <laughs> <laughs> everything but 
What about Limited. religion, poverty, economics? No, it has to be pop culture. Really more of a light breeze. Thank you for this opportunity. Okay. But I quit. You wanna go? You wanna go to the game? He is cute. He's a cute little guy. No, we gotta show up. The Kings and Knicks went to seven games in the NBA Finals. I just... Not in our life. Okay, so it's gonna be Michelle. Oh, is it her ex? It's her ex. Michelle. She just closed the door in his face. Mike! Mike could use some new clothes. Do you know that that perfume you sprayed on my pillow? Oh yes. Well, that smell is gone now. <laughs> Michelle, I, I want it back. That's okay. A, That's a crazy thing. I don't know if you can have it back. Well, Michelle was her inspiration for the thing, and she got her man back, so mm -hmm. she needs to get her man back, Andy. Is it for you? Thank you. Hey. It's true love. Oh yeah, that wasn't awkward. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh yeah! Go to town, Mike! Uh -huh. In the hallway? Oh, it's the ad. Still not a fan of Frost Yourselves. She wrote about you. She definitely this. changed it, right? Uh, no yeah, hundred percent. About how she actually found love. Here, trust me. Read it. Good friend. Wow. Where's Andy Anderson? Uh, she's not here. Where is she? She quit. She's got an interview in Washington. When's she leaving? Today. When? Well, like now. <laughs> It's a race against the clock. We can't let Andy go to Washington or else we're going to lose her forever. It just really tastes I'll bad. It, it's a drive through a red light type of love. Right? Yeah, I know. On my motorcycle. Risk my life. Oh, he's got the love fern. In a helmet. He's just checking the cabs. Cabs are here. Hey, the cabs are here. Oh, yeah. Dude. You're gonna cause an accident, bro. Is this true? Ben, please. Is this true? Or are you just trying to sell magazines? It's true. It's true. I'm in every word. Well, where are you going? I have an interview. Yeah, in Washington. I know. Where are you going? Yeah, well, why? I'm right here. I think you're running away. What are you running away you from? Don't run away from me. Bed, okay, I am not running away. I love you, Andy. Bullshit. Oh, oh, bullshit. He's the champion. Show your cards. You heard me. Oh yeah. Bullshit. 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 And then he kisses her. Hey, lady, what do you want to do? Take the lady's luggage back to her place. She has alternate transportation. Wow. You call my bluff. You bet I am. Aww. The love story we all needed in the end. They are so I perfect. I honestly thought they weren't going to be together. No. You knew that. I knew they were going to be Such together. Such beautiful people. All right, guys. That was movie night number 55. How to lose a guy in 10 days. And we didn't lose him didn't in the work. end. We lost him momentarily. Yeah, I mean, we Briefly. All we all uh we've been watching these movies in these shows so long we can all magically predict every ending and we predicted Got it the so, formula down yeah, by now we knew they were gonna have that little hiccup but bryce's prediction was wrong so yeah what, what is up why did they not go to the game that was the that was weird the knicks felt like the knicks kings game felt like a big part of the, yeah. the movie and they just who won game seven we'll, yeah. we'll never know who won the finals uh, of this made up storyline i just thought it was weird how they both had a ticket and then they just Never used it. Didn't yeah. go. He probably spent good money on those tickets. This dude got money, bro. He was throwing out around money like it was no one's business. He paid 300 bucks for therapy. therapist. Gave the taxi yeah, driver. Taxi like 200 bucks. Like what the heck? But yeah, this uh, this movie. I, I was so like cringed out at some points. Oh, like this is so bad. Like 
The cringe I was, so was awesome though. Like it was so, it was cringiness that I couldn't embrace. I don't know. I dude. struggled with a lot of parts. Um it was hard for sure, but it was cringiness that I accepted to embrace. Just like if I was him, bro, I would have been gone day yeah. one, I think. It's just some of those things were just way too far what she was doing. If I was him though, I feel like I, that's probably the hottest girl I would ever <laughs> pull in, so you got to stay. Take what you can get, right? Stay and suffer. I really like this movie. Um, one of the reasons being, I feel like with some rom-coms, like one person usually ends up being the bad guy. It's, mm. it's like, oh, oh, they broke that person's heart. But I feel like this one did a good job at making me feel bad for both of them. I mean, for the first half, I felt really bad for Matthew McConaughey. I was just like, dude, the things she's putting him through were so, so bad. But like in the back of my head, I was thinking the whole time, like he's doing the exact same thing to her just kind of putting on this fake fake persona uh that he's like this super forgiving and nice guy when in reality he probably would have dumped her after that first date like it was pretty crazy but i just liked how you could sort of root for both of them and they were both in the mm -hmm. wrong uh just i don't know i liked that little part I about feel like it the story definitely took a turn when uh she went and visited the family i yeah. mean sure she definitely that's when they had sex mm -hmm. in the shower in the family bathroom we, we presume yeah we presume that i mean they were naked well, she said his love making was lame i like the side characters in this i thought thayer was very funny <laughs> i didn't like thayer i liked the friend yeah the, the yeah, yeah. yeah i thought he every line the guy that was told so to funny. read the magazine mm -hmm. yet. yeah i thought he was hilarious like very subtle but i uh, thought he was cool obviously the girl i forget her name but the Michelle? therapist Michelle. Yeah, she's in a lot of things. She's always so funny. I Dude, think that, she's one of the funniest girls I've ever met. You met her. Yeah. Um, but that therapy scene was actually one of the funniest mm -hmm. parts of the movie. The, the, <laughs> when she looked at him and goes, so when did you realize that you like men? <laughs> that was just so funny, dude. Yeah, that had us cracking up. Being like on, in on the inside joke and just making fun of him is just so funny. It's it's so good. I think that and then the, uh, the whole just like Staten Island part of the movie were probably my two favorites i really liked it whenever they were being like genuine with each other and not like part of the plan yeah um because i i do think they were like a perfect match they were really really cute yeah i don't know is he still gonna make that money from that uh diamond thing or no i get i would assume so because they went with his pitch like yeah, that'd be dope i mean yeah she still got money off of the article right like that she wrote she wrote it, yeah. yeah they both bagged out i guess i don't know Best case scenario, honestly, how it ended. And they still got Kroll. They still got Kroll. Shout out Kroll. Grow, grow him some hair back. Yeah. Come on. Why we got to shave him like that? I would rate this movie pretty well, though. I did enjoy it. I thought it was a great... I, I like their love story. I felt the chemistry there. Obviously, the chemistry is going to be there when you have two people who look like that. Yeah, I mean, Matthew McConaughey is so smooth. Like, I think you, you could have put a lot of people in there and... He's just so charismatic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I definitely like them together a lot. It was just hard to see it after a while, after how hellbent she was on making him fault like I know. Leave her pretty much. Like it was they did such a good job of making me feel anxious and uncomfortable. Just like oh I feel like from the little I've seen of Kate Hudson too, like she's like good at that. Really good at that yeah. type of stuff. Like being like super out there and like comedic, uh in those situations yeah. like i said at the beginning i honestly haven't seen a whole lot with her in it but i really liked her in this movie honestly she was really really good mm -hmm. you, like, you liked her acting strong or performance was, acting or looks but very much both she was a good looking actor all right guys that's pretty much it though for this movie if you guys did enjoy our reaction make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got the patreon the discord and our social medias and at the very bottom is the address to our po box if you guys want to send us anything but yeah that's pretty much it we'll catch you guys next week for movie night number 56 peace out